and welcome to Disorientation, a show presented by Chansport with one thing in mind, to share incredible talent, help you take a break, and hopefully laugh. That was like three things, but you get the point. And obviously Chansport chose me to host the show because of my talent. And you know the name. But also because of my killer looks. And don't you worry, there is plenty more where that came from. Anyways, y'all, this show is free form. Between you and me, most of this is edited and scripted. But hey, we're gonna show you so many incredible skits, spoofs, shorts, songs, and other random things by the brightest stars on the internet. And hey, if you wanna be in our talent show, send us your stuff. In this episode, Bowman Martinez Reed is gonna give us a real take on a life milestone, followed by a Rich Caroline exclusive. And all of these episodes are designed to help you switch off and have fun. Maybe you'll laugh. Maybe you'll cry, not the point. Or maybe you'll just walk down the street and smile a lot. It's the best way to meet people. Alrighty, enough from me. Please welcome Bowman. I am absolutely hyperventilating with disgust right now. So as it turns out, I've actually missed some pretty mandatory third grade classes. So I'm going back to school. Can you, I need you to drive me to school. The car's not here. My mom starts screaming at me. What does she expect me to do? The car is at the mechanic. Who and what is a mechanic, first of all? Second of all, why are you both teaming up to ruin my life? So apparently my mom has an intricate plan with this mechanic person in which they vowed to ruin my life. Oh my wow right now. Seriously. You are so ridiculous right now. Really, Bowman? I'm plotting with the mechanic? This is wow moments. This is wow moments. <laughs> Car is at the mechanic. I am absolutely hyperventilating with disgust right now. The best thing for Bowman would be for him to get outside, use his legs, and walk. You should walk. It's nice out. We all heard it here, folks. My mom wants me to break both of my legs. Like, wow. Who do you think you are, my mother? You have you a strong are propensity absolutely to wrong. act with such inappropriate wrong. behavior. You are and wrong. And I don't know where you got it from. You are because wrong. Because you did not get it from me. I have to escape my mom's irresistible urge to disrespect me. The energy in this house is absolutely unsustainable and I'm leaving. I'm done. I am leaving. Turn going? the cameras off. I'm done. I'm turn, let's leave. turn the cameras Where off. We're again. done here. No, I'm done. Where are you going? I'm going to school. How are you even going to get there? I'm walking. plan worked. He walked. No. He's walking? You're kidding. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe it worked. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Just on the phone with my other job. Anyways, our next performer is my favorite person on the planet. Me. So lately, I've been thinking that, as a drag queen, I'm kind of like the world. And I know what you're thinking, Jan, you are so self-absorbed, the world does not revolve around you. <laughs> well, first of all, it does. And second of all, I don't mean that literally. What I mean to say is that the world around us is constantly changing. We're getting new information, the news is crazy, and that could be really, really daunting because it feels as though nothing is staying the same. But when I think about it, as a drag queen, my physical appearance is constantly changing as well. My hair, my makeup, my outfits. And when I put it that way, I find a lot of solace in that. And that's because I know that even though the outside is changing, what's not changing is myself, my heart, my mind, my intentions. 
So I know that things might be a little overwhelming right now, but whenever you're feeling down, just remember your makeup and your hair and your outfits and what that version is for you. And even though things on the outside might be changing, you know who you are. You know your heart, your mind, and your intentions. And you always have yourself a beautiful, unique, special person who is totally enough in this ever-changing world. Since when did pretending to be rich and putting on a show become trendy? Before we get started with this video, I do want to let you guys know, just for safety disclaimer purposes, um, there are two exits to this apartment. There's one directly this way, and there's one over there, but you'll see that in a second. We're going to take a step in. Hold on. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I kind of said that already. Maybe but that might be illegal. Um, sorry, he's feeding me my line. This is my apartment. You guys are probably like freaking out, like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, thank you. I do pay myself a salary of $70,000 a year to decorate my apartment. I'm just finally proud I can make my parents happy because I'm in fully employed. The last time I was employed was when I got a nose job. And she's looking good. But before we get started, one more disclaimer, I'm actually gonna go put some food on the stove because I'm really hungry. Shoes off, can you take your shoes off? No, don't show my feet. Shoes off, your shoes are off? Yeah. Oh, there's already food left over from like five days ago, so I'll just probably heat that up. Um, okay, we'll keep going. Moving on over to this couch. It is a wet couch, so that's pretty cool. And it has a blanket on it. And the blanket has a lot of colors, such as this color and this color and red and the rest of these colors. I don't know all of the colors because I'm colorblind. This is a candle. Um, this is, um, I come from Ohio. Um, that is a part of America. It is in the armpit of America. Um, so these are just some feathers that I collected. Probably should clean that. <laughs> this is a lamp. I think it's purple, not sure. Oops, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lamp. Um, that's where light comes from. Or they say it also came from Thomas Edison. <laughs> okay. Um, that's to be disputed because I'm pretty sure the light does not come from him. He's dead. It comes from the power source in my apartment. This is my little chandelier up here. Um, that's actually quite very much illegal, but I have that. <laughs> I, yeah. oh, I, oh, the food. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I absolutely have to be, I forgot. That's my roommate's food. My roommate's also my maid. Um, she, I don't pay her to be my maid, but she does clean up after me. Oh, by the way, do you, do you turn off your cell phone? Did you, did you wrap it? I don't have a cell phone. Oh, oh you poor thing. <laughs> I actually stole that. Cardinal rule. Rule number one is be really hot and sexy. No, rule number two is to be very nice. And rule number three is no trespassing, girls only, no boys allowed. Um, and then rule number four is to forget rule number three. So come on in. This is my room. <laughs> um, we're still in the process of moving and decorating. When I was in fourth grade, I got called four eyes. So I said, if I'm gonna have four eyes, I'm gonna be able to have the best glasses to cover them. So I got every pair I've ever wanted. I've also gotten a lot of other things I've wanted. My mom gave me her genetic liver condition. Um, we're not gonna go in the closet. Don't look over there. Uh, don't look over there because the maid forgot to clean it up, aka my roommate. Uh, moving on, this is the bathroom. Um, Moving on to the shower. Um, what was the joke I was supposed to say in here? I forgot my earpiece. You, you were supposed to say April showers. <laughs> bring May flowers. Bring May flowers. And this is my shower. And you know what they say, April showers, bring May flowers. Oh, no, not the fire alarm again. We have like a lot of chandeliers in my apartment. If you guys did find any of the pieces in my apartment that you really like, you can go ahead and purchase them. And if you don't, then that's okay. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, then that's your fault. You can see yourself out now.
Wow, that was amazing. And I have the same chandelier in my house too. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that wraps up disorientation. But plot twist, it's a series, which means that was just one episode and we have so much more for you to watch. And speaking of watch, it's time for me to go. Anyways, y'all, we will see you next week with another incredible episode.